Hey kids, Pastor Robert here again. And today I brought with me an hourglass. Well, kind of an hourglass. I, I didn't have a real one lying around, but then I got out my iPad, went to the app store, and you know what I found? Yeah, a very nifty hourglass app. It's kind of cool. Now, for those of you who don't know what an hourglass is, it's shaped just like this, and it's filled up with sand. And when you turn it upside down and the sand's on top, kind of like here, it falls through a small opening and fills up the bottom. And you use it kind of like you would a timer. And so what I thought we would do today is I put one minute on our hourglass timer here. And as the uh, little blocks fall down, we're just going to sit here, not say a word, and be really, really still. And I know what you're probably thinking. He has run out of ideas and he's just making us look at him now. I promise you there's a point to this one if you just stick with me, okay? So so 60 seconds, not a word. We're going to be super still. I know we can do it. It's, it's not that long, right? Just one minute. We can handle it. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay. I'm bored. Like, I'm really bored. It's taking forever. Oh, man. It's probably been one minute. Don't you think it's been one? Not even 30 seconds. Okay. All right. I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Uh, we're, you know what? We're just going to stop right there. Now, of course, I'm being a, a little bit silly, but uh, the point I'm trying to make is this. In case you didn't notice, it's now December. We made it through 11 months already, and it's December, and that means in just a couple of weeks, it's gonna be Christmas Day. And I'm sure if you're anything like me, you are really super excited for it to be Christmas Day. I mean, how could you not be? We got all the cool decorations, there's, there's delicious treats and snacks for us, and, and of course the presents, my goodness, all the presents. And sometimes it's really hard for us to wait all that time, all those days and weeks until it's finally Christmas morning and we just don't think we can make it. Maybe, maybe we could just open one little present, just one little present. I promise I won't say anything else, but ah! it feels like it's so long to wait until Christmas because we're so excited about it. But you know what? I think it's really good that we have to wait 25 or so days until Christmas because it gives us time to really reflect on the good things that happened this year. And I know this year has been absolutely crazy. And yet, I bet if you really thought about it, there's a lot of good things that happen in your life this year. And it also gives us a chance to prepare our hearts for what Christmas is really all about. And that, of course, is the birth of Jesus. There's a verse in Luke chapter 2, verse 19, and, and it takes place right after Jesus was born. And the shepherds came to see him and, and they bowed down and worshiped him. And as Mary, Jesus' mother, is, is sitting there watching all this happen, it says she treasured up all these things and thought about them in her heart. Mary took the good moment that was happening and treasured it. She, she thought about it possibly many times throughout the rest of her life. And so again, that's what I want to encourage you to do over the next couple of weeks as we head towards Christmas. Think about and be thankful for the good that did happen this year and prepare your heart to celebrate the birth of the Son of God. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you again soon.